today, I have a real life example and some stories to back it up of uh, something that I'm working on personally, that I think that if you catch what I'm about to share with you today, you can really start getting yourself down that path towards a life that you truly want, that you truly, truly desire, right? A life of abundance, a life better than you can ever imagine. And it's something that is that I'm working on literally as we speak. And I want to share something with you literally in real time. So it's something I'm working on that I think that you can gain a lot of value from. So hopefully you will enjoy this episode. So welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. My name is Randy Wilson. And here on the Rich Mind, my argument for life is that to experience an abundance amount in the outside 3D world, we need to focus on, on our internal battle, right? That internal dialogue. All the negativity that's going on in our inside experience is being portrayed and being reflected back to us in our outside experience. And today, I want to share with you a little bit of a story. This is going to be literally in real time. So I'm going through this experience uh, literally right now. And I want to share with you how I'm trying to navigate it and give you some of the tips, some of the things that I'm doing that hopefully will help you maybe navigate some of the challenges that you have in the future or in your present as well. So let's let's dive into a little bit of the backstory. Where is this coming from? So in the last few weeks, I've had an opportunity be presented to me that is exactly what I want. I mean, it's, it's something that I've been wanting for quite some time. And my subconscious mind is beginning to push back. It's beginning to give me that battle. And what I've discovered as I've gone through this journey is that when I discover this and realize that this is happening, it's getting control of it and getting it to a point where then I can continue to move forward versus it letting it control me. So a little bit more in depth of the story. So if you are not following David Nagel and Life Is Now on the Successful Mind podcast, I highly recommend that you do that. So what happened was yesterday, uh, I follow David a lot, meaning I listen to all of his content. He's a fantastic teacher. He breaks things down in a way that really resonate with me and in my past. And so that I'm able to take that content, implement it into my own life, and then I'm quickly able to see some, some results. And so that's what I want to share with you here today. So yesterday I was binging out on some of his episodes, some of his past episodes, knowing that because I'm struggling with this internal battle, I was looking for kind of an answer, a uh, spark, you know, something, an idea that would get me out of this little bit of a negative funk that I've got going on in my mind. And I found it. And today I feel so much better, literally, as we record this, I wasn't planning on doing this episode in this format. I had something planned to go out with this episode and I decided to uh, push it back to launch and record this as well. So hopefully you'll find value in it. So what I discovered and what he shared in one of his episodes was he talked about how the past, our past as humans and our future as humans are both not real. They're made up imaginary stories. So everything that's happened to our in our past is done and gone. We can't affect it. We can't do anything with it. Same thing with the future. We can't, we can try to predict the future, but it's very difficult to do. But what we do, and this is where I'm giving you, this is my example. This is what I do in my life is that I will take an opportunity. As I mentioned, I've had this opportunity be presented to me here in the last few weeks. That is exactly what I've been looking for and wanting to do for quite some time. Because of my tendencies in the past is that I would always take an opportunity, no matter what the opportunity was, and I was always trying to spin it into a negative way. Like I'd always try to pick it apart and find out why I couldn't or why I shouldn't or what would turn out to be, you know, what are the negatives part of this opportunity? which then would lead me into believing that I either wouldn't move forward with the opportunity or I wouldn't move fast enough with the opportunity or something like that, right? I just wouldn't move into it as quickly as I should based on this previous past that is imaginary and it's not real. And so this is what's happened this time. So what I've done and what I has, has happened over the last few weeks is once I'm, as, as I mentioned again, this opportunity has been presented to me. 
I started to automatically in my mind. Now this is subconscious. I'm trying to control it consciously, but this is subconscious. It starts running all of that past experiences, all the disappointments, all the things that I could have done better. I should have done better. All the things that are what I would consider negative in inside of me in my subconscious mind were running in the background. What that did was that was forecasting into a future that doesn't exist either a negative outcome, which may or may not happen, right? So it's all fake. It's all not real. And that's the point, or that's the the really big takeaway that I want you to understand. And what, you, what I want you really to comprehend and think about for yourself, are you allowing your current circumstances? So all we have in control and our control is now, right now, this very second what we're doing. So it's, it's like recording this, this episode with you for you today. All I could do is hit record and go for it. I didn't necessarily need to be thinking about it. I just needed to control what I'm doing right now. I can show up how I'm going to pursue this opportunity in the moment and worrying about a future outcome that's mapped or, or in similarity, or when I try to put it in similarity with my past experiences, that makes that outcome a little fuzzy and it makes it not real, which then determines my current circumstances. So for me, when that happens, I literally physically start to feel bad. Like the other day, uh, maybe two days ago, I woke up and there's no reason for this to be happening. I woke up and I, I had a little bit of a sore throat. My nose started to be stuffy, right? I felt like a cold was coming on. And I knew, I knew from my past experiences, and this is where you're going to have to play this out for yourself. I knew that it wasn't real, meaning I knew that those symptoms of this illness that I was supposedly getting was because my subconscious mind was pushing back very hard on me as I continued to move forward into this potential opportunity that I see as a is a positive outcome, right? I'm so excited about it. But my past experiences, my past mindset is really trying to control me. It's really trying to keep me quote unquote safe, right? It's trying to keep me from experiencing because I, you know, as most people have, you've had negative experiences in your life, whether it's in school, whether it's with other, you know, your friends, with your family, with your job experiences, I've had them all. And I'm sure you have as well. So if you're not able to realize that those past experiences, yes, we can learn from them, but if you're allowing them to control your current decisions, then that is what is going to impact your future results. And today I want to encourage you to sit for just a few moments. Okay. I'm always encouraging you to to get a journal, get something to write on. And that's exactly what I've done. I've journaled about this. I definitely did it this morning and I was working on it a little bit yesterday as well. After I heard this, as I mentioned from David Nagel in his uh, Successful Mind podcast, was that I started to write down some of these past thoughts, past experiences that were 100% controlling my current feelings, my current thoughts. And because of those current feelings and current thoughts, I was not necessarily taking as much action or I wasn't doing the positive things necessary to continue to move forward to this abundant life, to this fantastic opportunity that's been presented in front of me. My argument for you is that I would imagine that you have opportunities being presented to you all the time. And when those opportunities are exposed to your experience or into your, you know, to your 3D world, how are you perceiving them? How are you seeing them? Are you looking back on your past and trying to compare it to an experience that happened that is literally in your imagination that yes, it did happen. I'm not proclaiming that the past didn't happen, but what I am saying is that those stories and those negative beliefs, all of it is made up in your mind today. None of it needs to be real today. So what I decided is that number one, I was going to work through those negative experiences. You can acknowledge them. You can understand that, yes, I went through those experiences, but that is not where I'm at today. That is not what is going to be in my future. And you can make the decision to move forward by taking action today. Don't worry about the the future outcome. If you work through the, the law of cause and effect and understand that the effect is the future, 
the future abundance, the future job, the future income, the future uh, relationship, whatever the future is, that is an effect. And what we need to focus on is the cause. And you can affect the cause right now, today, right now in your experience, you can affect the cause. And if you do that without putting in any, any comparison or any of the negativity of the past, you will take better action. And when you take better action, you're going to get better effects and better results. And that's what's so exciting. So today I'm 100% in a better mindset. I'm in a better frame of mind. Uh, I'm about to be interviewed on a, a somebody else's podcast here coming up here very shortly. And I'm excited about that conversation. Uh, there's so many great things going on in the world and in my world. And I get it. The negativity that's going on out there as far as the, the media and, and just all the stuff. You need to get yourself, and I've uh, said this in the past as well, you need to put yourself on a, on a media diet. And if there's people in your uh, in your environment, right, your, your associations, I talk about associations as well, you need to get some distance from those folks that are planting negative things, negative experiences in your mind that are not necessarily true. They are not impacting you. So you need to then take control of your current circumstances and your current actions. What is it that you need to do right now to take advantage of whatever opportunity that's in your environment and then go to work? Do you need to create a podcast? Do you need to create a website? Do you need to start shooting videos? Do you need to whatever the thing is? For me, with this opportunity, as soon as it came into my awareness and it asked me to do start the process, right? Email them this information, that information, just do it. Don't compare it to a past that doesn't exist. And don't worry about a future that doesn't exist yet. Just go do the action right away. And I promise you, if you start doing that, you're going to break free from these negative mindset beliefs that have been holding you back. And they've been holding me back for well over 40 years. And I'm just now starting to be able to break through them. And that's what I want to encourage you today to do as well. And you can. Because if I can, you can. And that's what I want for you. So hopefully you found value in this message today. Uh, as I mentioned, this was kind of the spur of the moment. Uh, hit record and let's uh, let's do an episode. Hopefully I was able to convey that message to you well. If you found this message valuable, I would just ask if you would uh, share it with your family and friends. Uh, share it with anybody that you think that could find value in the Rich Mind message. Remember, everything in your outside experience is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So it's this, these, the subconscious mind is a very, very difficult thing to get control of. And I'm not proclaiming that it is an easy thing because it's very difficult, but I promise you, if you can go through the effort and do the exercises, do the journaling, do the thought experiments, really start following folks that can really pour into your life. I promise you, you can really get on the other side of it. And when you do, you can start experiencing this life that's, it's really fantastic. And I've got so many things going on that's that's positive for me that there's no reason for me to be negative. And I would probably assume that it's probably similar for you as well if you're listening to me today. So go out there, have a fantastic day. I look forward to coming back to you and giving you an update on how this opportunity is playing out for me. Uh, but go have a fantastic day. I hope this uh, episode finds you well and we will talk to you again very soon. Until then now, thanks. Bye-bye.